In this video, I'll show you how to build eye-catching thumbnails that will pop and increase your views. Hello, and welcome to Canva Corner. I'm Matt with WBNL Coaching, and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. So, let's get to work. A good thumbnail will make viewers want to watch your video. And I know you know what I'm talking about. If presented with three videos with similar content, you can't deny that you'll probably choose the video that has a thumbnail that speaks to you. Now, that's pretty subjective, right? Y yeah. Well, however, using these tips that I'm about to show you will provide you a better chance of winning that awesome click to the computer. Alrighty, let's dive in. As always, I like to go up to the search bar and see what sort of templates Canva has in the program already. So I typed in YouTube thumbnails, and of course, 10,000 uh, YouTube thumbnails come up. You can see what's popular today. That's what I love about coming to the templates in Canva. These are always changing, always new things are coming on here, and it's fun to go in. These are a great jumping off place. If you aren't really super creative and can't kind of just figure out kind of what you want to do on your own, these are a great place to, you know, start off and we use them all the time. If you watch any of my other videos, you know, we usually can kind of go into here, find one we kind of like and then deconstruct it and build it to what we like. You can just see by looking at these um, thumbnails here that uh, there's a lot of pictures of people. People are compelling. People draw you in. There's, uh, you know, there's there's a, uh, a couple pictures here that aren't, um, that, you know, that just have other images that might kind of draw you to want to click. And then you're going to see a lot of verbiage on here. The verbiage is big so you can actually see it. Some of it's a little provocative. Some of it is going to be compelling to make you want to click. That's the whole point. And then the colors are super vibrant. Those are really the three things that um, that we're going to talk about today. So instead of jumping in on any of these, which, you know, like I said, it's a great way to get started. We're just going to go in and we're going to pick the blank canvas here and we're going to start from scratch. So the first tip I can give you really is to make it personal, right? Now, I really fought this for the, long, <laughs> the longest time because I'm not the biggest fan of pictures of myself um however you know what when in rome you got to do as the romans do now this this fad or this trend might change over time but right now it's all about getting that picture of you pointing at the right or pointing to the left um you know looking confused being uh, thoughtful about something a lot of different ways you can do that you can just have a buddy of yours or a spouse uh take your pictures my sweet pea took my pictures uh and i just uploaded them into canva uh, another way that you can do it if you want it to match your video that you're doing is at the end of your video that you're taping just start doing a couple poses at the end of the video that way you'll have on the same clothes that you had on um, you know as you you know had on during the video and um, you know it can be something that's different all the time so in my situation here because I am still a little bit uh, shy on this whole process um, I have a bunch of stock photos that uh, that I took just kind of goofy stuff actually we had a lot of fun taking the pictures to be quite honest with you so let's just go down here to folders they're all up in our WBNO folder maths action shots here you go so we're going to start with that we're going to pick one of these pictures let's see thumbs up now nah, let's do the pointy one i always love the pointy one now this picture you know has got this white background here we're going to take that background off that's a beautiful thing about canva you don't have to have photoshop to do this if you click on your image go up to edit image and you can do background remover you know these kind of shots are like i said uh, you just have to get used to doing it and just kind of own it and not really care so much because the face will grab. Another thing about it that's really compelling to a viewer that's on there, or not so much compelling, but once they start, if you are someone that's going to be consistent about your videos, which you absolutely should be, um, you know, they're going to start seeing your face and they're going to know what kind of product that you're actually delivering if they like the stuff that you do. So it's all about the quant the content and the quality of your content. So we're going to bring this up here a little bit. We're going to make it huge, way huger than I would ever like to have my picture on anything, as you know, if you watch this at all. But here you go. Here I am. And now let's talk a little bit about what our next tip is going to be, which is compelling text. Uh, you want to actually write something or, you know, have uh, the title of your video be something that's going to be short, concise, talks about what your video is about, something that's going to really kind of draw them to it, right? Remember, the thumbnail 
title does not have to be the title that you're using in your actual video, which is something you're going to have to do a little bit differently. So it compels more people to jump into your video. Um, and we have a, a uh, we use a program called TubeBuddy, which is really, really helpful and help you finding out the, you know, the key, what keywords work and what keywords don't. I'll put a link to, to uh, TubeBuddy in the uh, description below. So in this, uh, for this uh, YouTube thumbnail, we're going to do the thumbnail actually for this video. I'm going to just use simply thumbnails that pop. Thumbnails that pop is going to be what I put on my YouTube thumbnail. Now the title of my um, YouTube video might be thumbnails that pop easy, fast, and free. Those are kind of big words, right? That are or not big words. They're all actually very small words, but they're powerful words. They're action words. They're words that are going to make people want to say, hey, I want to learn how to make thumbnails that pop, that are easy, that are fast, and that are free. So that's going to kind of be my theory and my strategy behind what I'm doing here. Always good to think about that kind of stuff before you get started here. So thumbnails that pop is the text I'm going to use. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drag in a couple text boxes. We're going to put a couple tech boxes in here. You know what? I'm just going to start with one. I'm just going to keep copying this one. So here we go. Thumbnails. And instead of doing it all in one, I'm going to do all three in separate boxes. Thumbnails that pop. Now, all right, so we got that down, right? Now, the third component of making a, uh, a really good uh, thumbnail is your colors. You want colors that are going to be bold and bright and that are going to draw the eye to it. Another part of that, another component of the whole um, thumbnail thing is, or um, the color thing, excuse me, is to use consistent coloring. So not only when they go to your YouTube page, maybe you have a color uh, palette for each playlist, right? So if you have separate playlists going on, that people can start identifying with the color colors that you're using. Okay. So it's really important to use the same color palette over and over and over again. Use your pictures like we already talked about to make it personal. So they start seeing you, they start seeing your colors and they start seeing immediately what this video is going to be about. There you go. Simple as that. Really, it's not all that difficult. It's a matter of just finding your style and then just sticking to it. A little trial and error to see if people are actually clicking on your videos or not. Right. Okay. So let's continue on here. Thumbnails that pop. We're going to turn this a little bit to the side because anything you can do to make it a little bit different, right? That might catch the eye. Let's bump that up to uh, 88. Let's, uh, yeah, I think that's probably a good size. We'll leave that at 88. What was that at? If you turn, as you, as you turn this around, you can see the percentage of where, what the angle is. Remember that if you're going to do a bunch of them at the same angle, that's 20. So we're going to tip this to 20%. I'm going to have all of these be right about the same 20%. Thumbnails that let's bump that up just a tiny bit, make that a little bit bigger, and then we're gonna pop. Now, the pop is obviously gonna be the biggest of the three. Let's move that down here, move it over. Let's take that up to 144. Let's make that big because, well, they're popping. Huh, what do you know? Okay. Thumbnails that pop. I think that actually looks pretty good. Now, the word that you want to stand out the most, I always like to do something a little bit different too. So uh, give it a little bit more flair. So a couple things you can do here. One, I like my uh, words like this and pop action kind of words to have some action to it. The easiest way to add action to any of your text is to italicize it. Here's the thing. If you can look up here, you'll see that Oswald does not have a version that is italics. So we're going to, this is, this is the wrong thing here. I'm not usually huge. I'm mixing and matching my uh, fonts, but we're going to do it in this case. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to actually put open sans in here, bold, which is actually pretty good because that did kind of make it even pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to go up to effects. And I'm going to put a shadow on this. And the shadow I'm going to choose is not a brand color of mine, but I'm going to use red because I think red does make it pop. This automatically, the transparency actually automatically goes to 40. I'm going to bring that all the way up to 100 so it's a really bright red there. Okay, so the thumbnails that pop. Okay, now we're going to add some stuff to, see my pointing at the pop? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to add some more color to the program. 
here or to my thumbnail. Uh, the easiest way to add a box onto Canva uh, is just to click the R on your computer. Um, that'll bring up a big old rectangle. I'm gonna change the color of this to my brand colors. I have my brand kit right here. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna just turn it a little bit sideways. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. There we go, there we go. So we got that in, just gives it a pop of color. We're gonna move this actually to the back, all the way to the back. So it's um, uh, out of the way there, I'm sticking above it. I wanna put something kind of behind myself as well to kind of make my head show up a little bit better. I'll put a circle back there. So there's, you just hit a C, hit C. Let's see, we're gonna put it right back behind me. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. We're gonna make this, let's go back to our brand kit here. Let's make that little uh, circle blue. Perfect, let's move that backward as well. Very good, do we like that? Yeah, that's working out okay. Maybe move me over a little bit more. Alrighty now, we're gonna put a couple boxes behind the verbiage actually to make it stand out a little bit more. So once again, I'm gonna hit that R bring a little rectangle in here let's go ahead and turn that to 20 we know that's 20 there center it we're going to turn that blue and we're going to send that backward one little bit whoops too far we're going to go here to our thumbnails and we're going to make this white because that'll really make that stand out actually on that blue there we go looking pretty good this is standing out I am going to add a line at the bottom of this just to give it a little bit more color. If you click out of this, click the L on your computer, drag this down, go up here to the line sizes. We're gonna change this weight a little bit. I'm gonna make it, well, that sounds good. I'm gonna square off the edges. I'm gonna make this another one of our brown colors. Bring it down here at the bottom, drag it all the way across, and then I am going to position this to the back. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna to add to this. First of all, let's get me up to the top layer. So bring me to the front. I am making that pop. I'm gonna add one more element on here <clears throat> just to give it a little bit more of a design. I just chose lines in uh, my elements. I'm gonna bring this over, hit the button there. Let's make that, I'll bring it around just a tad. And we will do another one on this side. So there is a quick and easy thumbnail, right? Just by using some elements, um, you know, throwing in some text that will hopefully get some people to uh, click the video. I guess we'll be seeing that. The proof will be in the pudding, right? And um, adding in your brand colors as well. All right. So that's that's as easy as it is to build a to build a thumbnail. But remember, here are the key things you need to be consistent with that. If you're going to you're going to do your thumbnails, they need to have the same kind of branding on each sing, every single one of them. Picture of you to make it more personal. You need to use your own brand colors or the brand colors you're using for your particular video series or playlist. And you want to make sure that your uh, text is compelling. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your insider tips and how you build your thumbnails, just leave a comment below. Would you like more information on thumbnails and getting started on YouTube? Our YouTube for Real Estate Agents course is your A to Z system on how to grow your channel from nothing, including tips on topics, titles, SEO, equipment, and so much more. Go to wbnlcoaching.com forward slash courses to learn more, or there's also a link in the description below. If you've liked what you've heard today, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And we'll see you next time on the Canva Corner.